<coughs> good morning everyone in today's session we will discuss on further concept of our first unit is a regular language and regular expression finite automata so in the previous sessions we discussed on what is the regular language and regular expression <coughs> so in a today's session we will discuss on further concepts which is our uh, main part of our automata and uh, sorry main part of our uh, computation so, so for the discussion we require prerequisite <coughs> of that uh, finite automata that finite automata prerequisite is a regular language and regular expression so let me discuss about the prerequisite which is required for our main part of computation and the finite automata so Prerequisite for the finite automata is nothing but the regular language and regular expression. Already we discuss what is the regular language, how we convert the regular expre uh, how we convert the regular language into regular expression and etc. part here. So let we uh, discuss in uh, likely. So regular language is nothing but it consists of two components. First component is nothing but the basic language, consists three basic language, simple language, null language, empty language. And uh, second component is nothing but uh, required three basic operations. First union, one condition, these two operations are uh, binary operation. And one more operation required is nothing but uh, Killing's operation. So by combining all these six uh, um, object and we call it the six object, we got one kind of a language. That language we simply call as regular language. And we easily convert that regular language into regular expression by having two rules. First rule is nothing but we just replace curly brackets by round parenthesis and the second is nothing but comma or union symbol we have to replace by plus symbol uh, remains as it is okay we already discussed that regular language and regular expression but we are not discussing about where we have to use that regular language and regular expression here means we have to discuss now first applications of that regular language so regular language and regular expression have numerous applications in our computer science and engineering branch here so which are those so the first operation of regular language and regular expression is a web search engine i think people are not about what is the search engine how it works and etc but we are not discussing briefly how the search engine works and etc but for the designing of the search engines for the data validation as well as we call the data wrangling purpose we require a regular language and regular expression so second application of regular language and regular expression is nothing but the lexical analysis. So what is the lexical analysis? So lexical analysis is one phase of compiler. So I keep people are known about what is the compiler. Compiler, we simply define compiler is nothing but it is one software, also called the program. That program takes input as one kind of language called as source language and translate that source language into one kind of other language called as target language. And if the translation process, uh, if any error occurs, it gives to back user side here. So simply we call it the compiler here and compiler having a numer uh, compiler having number of phases that the first phase is nothing but the lexical analysis so this lexical analysis takes input as a user's language and convert that user language into token part here sequence of tokens we call it so for the specifying the tokens we require a regular language and regular expression Okay, so in a brief, we discuss in the next coming sem, next sem, having a subject as compiler design. In that, we will briefly discuss about how the lexical analysis works, as well as how we specify tokens by using regular language and regular expression. But here, remember one thing that ki, there is also application uh, for the compiler design by using our regular language and regular expression. Next simple we call key compiler design already we discuss about and data validation also we discuss about in a, along with the search engine we also validate the data by using regular language and regular expression so these are some application and for that for th those application we require a regular language and regular expression okay so this regular language and regular expression we have to require for discussion of most important part of our computation is nothing but uh, automata so what is automata so before discussing automata if you people learn automata then we um, what uh, means uh, after the discussion of the final automata you people will um, get understand the concept of the final automata as well as you people design the final automata using our regular language and regular expressions okay so these are the outcomes after the learning of uh, finite automata part. 
So what is the finite automata? So this finite automata is one of the computational model of our computer science. Right? So our subject is theory of computation. So in that the theory of computation having a major three computational model. First computational model is our finite automata. Second computational model is pull down automata. And third computational model is the Turing machine. Yeah. So by using this computational model, we have to design complex type of applications means compiler design, operating system design. So such kind of design purpose we require these computational models. Yeah. By using that the computational model, we have to make the design part. Remember thing that we are not uh, here discussing maximum focus on programming. Yeah. We have to discussion on a design means how we design uh, complex problems by using our these, those computational models here. So, in that theory of computation, first computational model is a finite automata. Okay, so let me have to start. What is the finite automata? First, we discuss about the definition of the finite automata, and after that, we discuss about how we uh, design the finite automata of the given problem statement here. Okay, let me start. What is the finite automata? So simply we define finite automata or the finite automata or finite state machine. So here I am using three keywords. First a finite automata, second finite automata or a finite state machine. So this finite automata or finite state machine or finite automata is a five tuple. Five tuple means it consists of five parameters. Simple we define. So which are those parameters? So the first parameter is nothing but the capital Q. So this capital Q is one parameter. And that parameter represent here finite set of states. Yeah. Remember that finite set, finite set. So this finite set is nothing but having limited number of offsets. Okay. So the finite set of states, state is uh, we discuss after what state we require for our uh, designing part. Yeah. State also to process etc. So. So the capital Q consists of finite set of states. Yeah. Second parameter is nothing but epsilon. Epsilon is the finite alphabet of input symbol. Here is also finite set here. So both these are finite set means we require limited or the countable uh, objects for our discussion purpose. Then third component or the third parameter is nothing but the small Q0. So that small Q0 belongs to capital Q means Q0 is a part of our finite set Q. And that Q0 here is represent as initial state of our uh, computational model. Then fourth is nothing but capital A. Capital A is also one set and that set is a subset of a Q here. Means Q is now here our major set and Q0 is also element for the Q and capital A is also subset of a Q here. What represent here capital A? So this capital A represent here accepting states of um, what do we call accepting set of accepting states or uh, final state we call it is and the last parameter is nothing but the delta delta stands here transition function why we require transition function so we have to design our computational model is likewise it transit from one state to the other state by using some input alphabets here. so how it is transit here that transition we have to define by using one kind of function Function people are known about it takes some input alphabets, compute on that, and use result. So it is we uh, simply define function how the function works. So delta is nothing but the transition function. So that transition function we have to pass input alphabets as a QQ is nothing but the finite set of sets, means number of sets we have to pass here. Along with that state, we have to pass input alphabets. The result is nothing but we transit from that state to other state or remains in that state only means our uh, output is set of states means for the set of state we have to pass a set of alphabets then we move from that set of states or we remains on that set of states means the output is set of states so it is nothing but the simple transition function so i am repeated here finite automata is nothing but five tuple machine or the five tuple computational model so in that the first parameter or the first tuple is nothing but the capital Q. That capital Q is nothing but one finite set of a state here. Second is nothing but summation. Summation is nothing but the finite alpha, uh, finite alphabet of input symbols. 
then third thing about the q0 q0 is initial state of our machine or our uh, computational model then a is nothing but capital a is nothing but the subset of set of state and that subset is represented here accepting state or we call it final state here and the last parameter of our finite automata or the last tuple of our uh, finite automata of the computational model is nothing but the delta delta stands for a transition function by using the transition function our machine or the, our computational model moves from the one state to other state or remains on that state it depends on the inputs so input part is a set of state as well as the set of alphabets and the output part of our transition function is a set of sets so i hope you people are understood uh, what is the finite automaton the basic part of our finite automaton or the definition part of our finite automaton so question arises how we design this computational model so there are the two ways by using that two ways we uh, design our finite automaton of the given statement part here also. so one part is nothing but the transition diagram and the second part is transition table means by using this two way we uh, represent our finite automata so let me discuss first is nothing but the transition diagram so diagram is nothing but having a picture in picture means we diagrammatically or pictorially we represent our finite automata so how we represent those so for that require notation part how we note how we denote so the first notation for our designing finite automata by using transition diagram is nothing but the state so for that state we have to uh, represent that state by using a round circle but we have to give the name for that state for example q0 q1 q2 etc but remember one thing that key state we represent by round circle and uh, in middle having its name of that uh, state second notation is nothing but the starting state for the starting state it is also state means we have to round a circle but remember before the starting circle we have to put as an arrow that arrow symbol suggests here ki the given state is the starting state here. and maximum we represent the starting state by using q0 then third is accepting or the final state that accepting or final state we represent by two circles inner circle as well as the outer circle we have to give the name as capital a capital a mostly is nothing but set of accepting states here. but before array is also required and the last is nothing but the transition from one state to other state so how we represent transition from one state to other state consider there are the two states here so how from the first state we have to transit to second state by using some alphabet here means we have to pass the alphabet for this state and according to uh, according to our problematic part either we have to stay on the state or the move to other state it defines according to our problem state so this is the representation of one kind of uh, way it is nothing but the transition diagram and the second way is nothing but the table here so table you people are know about table consists the rows as well as the columns so rows part so the column part we require input symbols and the rows part we require the states so how we represent uh, how we represent um, transition table we have to first uh, design the finite automata and accordingly we have to represent uh, transition table for the same how it is for that we have to take one example and uh, by using that example you will understand how we represent uh, transition table as well as transition diagram clearly Okay, so finite automata is one kind of a computational model consists of five tuple. First tuple is nothing but set of states. Second is nothing but set of alphabets. Third is nothing but the starting state. Fourth is nothing but acceptance state, and last is the transition function, representation, transition diagram, and transition table. Okay, so how we Uh, design the transition uh, table as well as the transition diagram means how we uh, draw finite automata for the given statement consider a simple example we have to construct the transition table of the transition diagram very simple for you we have to uh, design finite automata of the given statement is strings ending in zero so strings ending in a zero for that problem statement we have to construct now a uh, finite automata so before constructing the finite automata we have to 
first find out a regular language and regular expression of that statement part here. And by using that the regular language and regular expression, we have to design the same for that. And remember one thing that the strings ending in a zero or the strings ending in a or strings ending in a b etc etc etc. So for that statement, we have to identify the input alphabet. It is the basic prerequisite which are required for our designing as well as the constructing uh, regular language and the regular expression. First, we have to find which input alphabets we require. Here. So in the given statement part, strings ending in a zero means we require uh, input alphabets at a zero. But one major thing here, for each and every state, we have to test for this input alphabet here. Means for each and every state, we have to test these two alphabets. How it is? Let me discuss one example. How we construct uh, or how we draw finite automata for the given statement. Okay. So our problem statement is we have to design the finite automata of the uh, given problem statement the strings ending in a zero. Yeah. So for that first we have to take input alphabets. Yeah. So input alphabets, set of input alphabet is our epsilon is 0 as well as 1. Why it is 0 or 1? Because our input uh, or our problem statement is nothing but each and every string end with 0. So that's why we are selecting here the two input alphabets 0 as well as the 1. Okay. So this is our input alphabets 0 as well as the 1. So, what is the regular language of our statement? Uh, so, each and every statement, uh, sorry, each and every strings of our language, or we call the regular language, ends in a zero. Means the first string is nothing but the zero. So, zero is our first uh, object we call in our regular language. So, second will be one zero. Yes. Then one one zero s, then zero zero s, then epsilon zero s, then double zero s, sorry, triple time zero s, then zero one zero s. Likewise, the strings is our part of given regular language and that regular language strings end with 0. Basically first string should be ends with 0 means 0 is our first string. Second 1 0, 1 0 has also become our uh, part because ends with 0, ends with 0, fourth also ends with 0, fifth also ends with 0, sixth also ends with 0 means each and every strings end with 0. The starting part of the each and every string is either 0, either 1, either the combinations of zeros as well as 1, or we call the F Remember what in that? So each and every string ends with the 0, but the starting part of that string is either 1, either 0, either epsilon, or the combinations of zeros as well as 1 or epsilon. Okay, so this is our logic part here. So how we simplify it is, so simplify each and every strings we have to end with 0, okay. And the starting is either 0 or 1 or means here comma or we call the combinations. Combinations means we have to make it clean. So this is our regular language for the given statement part means the given problem statement string ending in zero. So how we convert the this given regular language or the mm, this regular language how we construct uh, or how we convert into regular expression? So for that regular expression how we convert we simply uh, remove or the replace this curly brackets by round parenthesis 0 as it is, we have to re uh, replace by comma by plus 1 as it is, star also as it is, and then 0. So, this is our regular 
expression and this is our regular language so for the given statement part we construct a regular language as well as the regular expression so now we have to design one computational model called as finite automata for these strings these strings means the strings ending with zero those strings we have to accept by our computational model only those strings means the strings having ending zero those kind of strings are only accepting or accepted sorry accepted by our uh, machine or called computational model such a kind of a machine now we have to design it okay so let me start by using transition diagram means by transition diagram we have to design our uh, machine and that machine will accept only strings which are ending with zero here okay so how it is now so starting state here starting state so finite automata starting state how we represent the starting state by this symbol by this notation already discussed that and we have to give the name for that as q0 okay. so already we discussed that for each and every state we have to test the given alphabet and our given alphabet is nothing but the g by the one okay so now uh, concentrate now so q0 is our start, uh, starting state so we have to test zero as well as the one so first we have to test with one uh, sorry test with zero <coughs> so we are in a state q zero if this input symbol is zero and we are in st starting state q zero then we have to transit from that state to our next state and that state will be likewise here by using input alphabet as a zero Okay, and the <coughs> given st uh, next state is nothing but our final state, and we represent by Q A. So now Q A is our final state. So why? This? So here is means each and every string ends with zero that is our problem here and in our regular language the worst case is single zero is part of our regular language or it is the one string of our regular language it can be accepted means we are now starting set q0 and the user gives input as a zero then our machine also accept so that's why we uh, are in acceptance state by using single alphabet as a zero Okay, so for the Q0 now we test at the 0. So likewise we have to test now for 1 also. So now how we uh, now the condition is that for the Q0 and input is 1. If I move from this state to next state by using 1, then then string ending with one or the string consists of only one it is also acceptable and it is not the part of our regular language means so for that we are not take these transition here because if we are move from the given state to our next state is an acceptable state it is in problematic state here. okay so what we do now so for that purpose we have to transit for the one in that state only if number of times one is occurs the machine will be uh, remains in that the given state only okay means uh, in uh, string three times one it remains on that state only okay so for the q0 we tested for the one as well as the zero now we have to move next state which we use from the uh, q0 and the zero and it is the qa qa is nothing but our final state that final state also we have to test the two parameters 0 as well as the 1 if new state we uh, we got then for that state also we have to uh, test 0 as well as 1 if no, no new state uh, until we have to find new uh, no new state till we have to process it 
for the QA now we have to check for the 0 as well as 1 so for that the 0 for the 0 what is my transition I am in QA and if I am taken as a 0 then I have to sorry I have to remain in this state only. Why it is? Because single zero from the Q0, if user gives a single zero, then we reach to final state. If this uh, string is likewise double zero, then what we do? It is also acceptable. No? So our machine first character reads, it moves from this state to this state here. It reads second character and remains in this state. Remember only thing that if our machine uh, after the reading of all the strings our machine remains in the final state then then and then only our string is acceptable either otherwise it is not acceptable. Okay, Such kind of uh, techniques we have to use for the designing the final pattern attack. Okay? So now we are in QA state and uh, our input is a 0 then we remains in that state here because 2 times 0, 3 times 0, 4 times 0 is there. Such kind of strings are also acceptable. And for that purpose, we have to make these provisions here. If 1 is there and we are in QA, then how we design if we remain as the desired one? Then what if 0, 1 string is there? It's also acceptable and it is not part of our problem statement because the strings with 1. Okay, so we are not keeping one here. Okay, so <coughs> this is our Q zero. So Q zero. Is our one, is our zero, is our q zero part, is our zero. Now, what we do now for one? We have to move from the one here, where we are repetitively uh, process that one. We have to keep backward to the one. And it is our final state. Here. So, the this is our one kind of computational model, and that computational model recognizes the strings that strings on uh, strings ends with only zero part. Here. So, how it is? We have to test for that. So, the strings, a, the strings likewise zero, 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 zero. So these are four zero. Now we have to test either these strings acceptable by our designed final automata or not. Yet. So for that we have to read one by one character here or one by one alphabet we call it easier. So first we are in state Q0. We read first alphabet or the 0. We are in Q0 state. We read 0 is our first alphabet. And then we have to check where is our 0 to move. Here is our 0 to move. Means we have to transit from that Q0 to uh, sorry, uh, Q0 to QA state. Okay, QA state now. We are in QA state. Now, second alphabet has a 0. So, we have to check where is the transit state. 0 here. Yeah. Means we remain as it is. Then we have to read third alphabet. The third alphabet also 0. Means we have to remain in the QA state. Now, we have to read the fourth uh, alphabet. It also 0. Means we have to remain in that state only. And we read last we remain in that state means after the reading full stream if we are in final state then we call the this stream is acceptable and we are in either uh, starting state or any intermediate state after the reading final state then we simply deny the given state this that stream is not part of our language okay how it is so we take one One, sorry, one zero five. Okay, so easily we identify this is not part of our uh, language. Why it is because they ends with one. 
but we require to use it is not acceptable. We will discuss. Means we will check. So we are in Q0 state. We read the first alphabet as a one. We remains in that state. Now we read second alphabet as a zero. We have to transit from the Q0 to QA state. Now we are in QA state and we read one. We are not remaining in that state. We just moves from QA state to Q0 state. Okay. So after the final reading of these string of uh, this string, we remains in Q0 state here. Means we are not uh, in final state here. We are in starting state. So easily we deny the given string from the uh, our uh, uh, regular language. So for that also we one zero zero one one zero one is the big string. So we have to uh, test whether either this string is acceptable or not. Yeah. So simple. We are in Q0 state. We read first character, uh, first alphabet one. We remain in this state only. Then we read second alphabet. We also remain in the state only. Then we read third alphabet as zero. Then we have to transit from Q0 to QA state. In that the QA QA state we read zero. We have to remain in that state only. After that we read 1, we have to move from QA to Q0, then we have to read the 5th alphabet, 5th alphabet is 1, after the reading 5th alphabet our transition will be in that set row to Q0 state, now we are in Q0 state, we read 0, then we have to transit from Q0 to QA, ok, we are in QA state and we read 1, then we have to make transit from QA to Q0 and we reject the whole string because it ends one and we are not remains in final state so these two state machine gives us idea ki how recognize the strings ending with zero only so now you people have to do exercise to design the final automata which accept the strings ending with one okay means you people have to design the final automata of the problems that means strings ending with one okay so today's session we have to stop here you have to try in the final you have to design the final automata for the string ending with one okay? if you have at least try here. If it is not possible, then we will discuss on the next session. But at least you have to remember finite automata. You remember it is a finite tuple, you a finite set of states, finite uh, set of input alphabets, starting state, final state, and transition function. And having a two this transition table and the transition diagram. Transition diagram. Now we discuss about the transition diagram. So how we convert the transition diagram to transition table? Simple. So here is the states, states is Q0, second Q1, and input alphabet is 0 as well as the 1. So here is our, uh, this is our table, okay. So we are in Q0 state, so this is our Q0 state. If we are give Q0 state as a 0, then we have to move QA state, means we have to write here QA state. We are in Q0 state, we give input as a 1, we remain in that state, means Q0 is here. So here is also state is our Q state. Okay, we are in QA state and we use zero, we remain in that state only in this QA state. Okay, we are in QA state and we use input as a one, then we move to Q0 state. So this kind of a table is nothing but the sorry transition table. Here. So transition table will be simple. We design transition table according to our transition diagram. Remember, here is Q0, QA is our uh, states, and 0 and 1 is our input alphabets. Okay, accordingly, transition diagram, we prepare one kind of a table, and the table is simple called the transition table. Okay, so this is uh, this is a part of our discussion in today's session. Next session, we will discuss lots of example how we construct, uh, or how we design the final element of the given problem statement. But remember one thing that you people have to do exercise one skills in with one. Okay? You have to at least try. Okay?
Thank you. Thank you so much.